Then it started here. Oh, I got it. So, yeah, be ready. Here we go. come to a common place where we all love what we get and I guess that's the point if the work suffered because of that we just wouldn't be writing anymore you gotta love the rodeo oh there so you country. go she's gonna get that idea in yet yeah. <laughs> you better believe it it comes out of that phrasing though where I heard it go It sounds like, it sounds like I, I, I thought I was done with this. It's like, here I go again, you know, up on, back on the horse again. How do you say no to life? How do you say no? You gotta love the rodeo. It's gonna just keep bucking us off and getting us back on that horse. You know, also, I'm seeing, uh, you gotta love the rodeo. Like, it's not sarcasm. It's not so much as, uh, or it uh, is sarcasm. like you have no choice. It's not that dark. It's more right. like, it's He's more saying like, no to try to lean light on the uh, sarcasm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And to, to honestly be sincere. No, I totally agree. I mean, how fucking not, great is this? Yeah, that's know? what I mean. How fucking great yeah. is this? Yeah. Like we always yeah. uh, we always tell each other, in your life, did you ever think we'd have such cool problems? Yeah. yeah. here to save your life. So you've got somebody that you think is a Other fucking crazy. clown. Yeah, that's right. And you don't, or, or you could turn around and say, you know, you, Sometimes you're the you know, you get in, clown. <laughs> you get, you're getting in deep and, and you may want, you may need to have a clown come in, you know, come and save you. How about some, sometimes you're the cowboy, sometimes the clown. Mm -hmm. Like you, it changes mm -hmm. for you depending on your situation. Dead. That's a good line. What, what was the melody you were singing, recording? Sometimes But I, I, I'm hearing this right now as the last line of a chorus. It's not. It's, it's not, not the premise of the of the lyric. Can we just say some days? That would help. Yeah, yeah. Some Someday you're the clown. 
come on, how do you say no? Right. Yeah, it, it bruises you, it, 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 it bumps you up, it, but come on, it's so much you fun. Maybe we can make some hooky no? out. But come on, come, come on, on, come on. You gotta love the rodeo. Yeah. But come on, come, come on, on, come on, come on, come on. Come yeah. on. Maybe we can make some hooky out. That's the start of a chorus. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Show me. Come on. Climb on like you get on the horse. Up on the I horse and through it. Up on the horse and through it. Yeah, 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 that's good. Come on, come on, come on. You yeah. can't be, but you, you're, you're not a fucking chicken shit. Or you, you're not gonna do it, do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not gonna give up. Climb now. on, climb on, climb on. Back on the horse and through it. Yeah. Uh-huh. Don't wanna walk away, do you? Don't wanna walk, walk away, now. do you? I'm trying to do uh, yeah. a do it to rhyme with the through it. I know. Back on the horse gonna, and through it. I want to get now, but I can't. Uh, that phrasing there, did you get that? Nope. No? Yeah. Come on, come on, come on, Instead of come on, come on, come on, the expected thing would be. Come on, It's a zoo. No matter what oh. it does to you. No matter which way it goes, you gotta love the rhythm. No, no, no matter how. Wait, 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 wait. No matter how, how the ride goes. Yeah. Done looking for less. No solos. matter how the ride goes, you gotta love the rodeo. Is it a ride? Is it a. Uh, well, each ride, I mean, they're fucking on the, the fucking Bronco. Right. I mean, you're right. They're called rides. Rides. Or they, or they called rides or they called events or what's No, the they're called a ride. ride. Well, the rodeo is not a ride. The rodeo is the event that includes bull, bull ride. It includes horse riding. Well, horse riding. Bull ring. I mean, but I'm just saying each each cowboy that gets on a horse and then he goes out and bucks. It's a ride. Isn't, isn't that a ride? It's is there? Is it called a show? Do they? It is a show. The yeah, rodeo is a show. Yeah, yeah you, you gotta look. You can. I, I mean, it technically it's a show, but I've never heard anybody refer to it. But we are, the, the one singing is in the show, because we're talking yeah, about but, when to ride the horse. But is it called the show? No. I don't think it's it an a rodeo term. Right, yeah. nobody, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. you can't just. Because it, it's a hell of a show. Yeah. But if it's not the terminology of right, the right. rodeo, then it doesn't quite we'll work. Give them a hell of a show. We'll give them a hell of a show. Yeah. Sometimes you're the cowboy, sometimes you're the clown. But you'll give them a hell of a show. You gotta love the road. Go out and give them a hell of a Go out and give them a hell of a show. Yeah, that's good. You gotta love the road. You uh, going to the oh, it's, how about it's gonna be a hell of a show? I like that. Don't wanna burden that dude. I like that. I do too. I might let him down. hardest challenge for me in this band is because we have three different minds and three different ways of doing things. We also really trust and love each other and respect each other, but that's not to say there are not moments when we lose sight of that and we just want what we want. And damn it, we're gonna get it. <laughs> are you ready for some football? Mm. God, I love the roadie. You gotta sell that song. You know, who I mean, it could be a takeoff on this, couldn't it, for an ad? Mm. No, you can rewrite it for I mean, if, if, you, if we gave it to a hardcore country artist. You mean this song with a different title? No, just instead of Gotta Love. I'm just saying, the lyrics as they are, we'd have to change them, right? Well, yeah. I would think we would. I mean, if it, if it was God, I Love the Rodeo. Then you're involved in the song. You're not the narrator anymore. You are the one getting kicked around and you love it. Suddenly it's a first person song. Not necessarily. Are you ready for some football? Does that mean he's a football player? 
Mm. God, I love football. That's a personal comment. Yeah, but he's not a football player. And just like the, the God, I love the rodeo is not necessarily the guy in the rodeo. I mean, my biggest problem is if we do that God, I love the rodeo, we're making this a song about the rodeo. And that cuts people that like it down to, to you know, the slot of people that actually like the rodeo. At least when we say you got to love the rodeo, to me, we don't actually mean a rodeo. We mean... I you would know, do a version of that. Life, life is the, like a crazy, yeah. You know, life knocks you down. I would, and I would do a rewrite of it. <laughs> but there's no the question that I would do a rewrite of that totally. and send it to, the, the, to the, whoever the rodeo association is and say, check this out. Mm -hmm. You know, but that wouldn't be the song that I put on. But see, to me, and I'm not a rodeo guy, but to me, I get the exact same interpretation from both lines. Are you saying you want to write that today, God, I love the rodeo? I mean, I think at some point we could just change that smart title idea line to write and say, God, that. I love the rodeo, and send it out to yeah. and I, you know, and the and Willies I don't think and the Blake Shelton's of the world. I'm agreeing with Gary. It's not authentic to us as the recording artists mm -hmm. to sing, I love the rodeo. Right. But I don't think the thought dilutes the song. If he says that at the end of that first verse, which is all we've got up down to the first verse, I want I want it to be more about why I love it so much in the second verse. Okay, but we're not writing it that way. I know, so but I'm saying it. if we were. Not. But the point is... Let's forget it, because you don't get what I'm trying to say. I do get what you're saying. No, you don't get it, or you'd agree with me. <laughs> I think it's a brilliant idea. <laughs> no. I totally agree with you. I don't think it's what Blue Sky Writers wants to record. Or is no. that what you're suggesting? That we write something that would go great for rodeos and us? So now that moment there proves that I'm right. She doesn't understand what I'm trying to say. So moment, let's just get on. Proves I'm gonna murder this guy. No, I mean it's just it's just we're not communicating. Is what I'm saying. We are. I thought we were. No, we're not. You know, I've already agreed that Blue Sky Riders, it would not be appropriate for us to sing God, I Love the Rodeo. Mm -hmm. But I don't believe that line dilutes the meaning of the song. But I agree with that. How does that not agree with you that I think that's a great idea to do that? It doesn't matter. Oh, okay. You know, if there's something we could do now to, if you guys aren't turned off of the new song because of any No, similarity. I like it. It's interesting what Kenny said, uh -uh. thinking that that could be it. I gotta keep an open mind. We'll just sing it all the different ways and see which way really uh, gets us blown. I mean, I still think it has to be more personal now. And something needs to change a little, but is that a better song? Well, let's just keep writing it because I, I don't know what it is that you look at and... and uh, change? Well, but I don't think you need to worry about it right now. I'm just asking where we're going from here. Are we going to write that title? No, I want to write that song. I want to write that song because we know what the song is about. Talk to me. What song do you want to write today? God, I, gotta love the rodeo. Let's write that. God, I love. No, God, gotta gotta love. love the rodeo. Gotcha. You gotta love the rodeo. Okay. And even though it's a ro and just being devil's advocate, even though it's a song about the rodeo, it's gonna be okay being on this record. I just want to make sure we're still talking a metaphor. Yeah, it's got to still be the. It's still got to be a metaphor that works of both ways. Life knocks you on your ass. Like the quote from the magazine, like from that book, you know, it doesn't matter how many times you get knocked down. How many, you got to just get up one more time than that, and you're a champion. I was thinking, like, not these words, but the, but the thing that proves you're a champion mm -hmm. is rising one more time than you fall. Uh -huh. Once more than you fall. That doesn't matter at all. It's the thing that will make you a champion. Is rising one more time, then you fall. Do what you're gonna do. Uh -huh. boy. Did you write it? Uh huh. times it can get you how many times it can kick you whatever it doesn't matter at all you know? yeah i like the, it doesn't matter at all yeah i think there's something there about um you know you how many times you get blanked how many times you get matter. knocked down yeah that doesn't matter at all how many times you got knocked thrown down? off we're gonna say thrown? the chorus the horse yeah. that threw you how many times you get but I love this. How many times you get not, something? Not bad Dumped. In life. But do we have down anywhere? What are we do in the first verse? The time number of times. Time. The number of times you get something. 
But it doesn't matter. That seems more formal it than does, how many see, times. How many sounds more formal. You know, I like more conversational. Say how many times you get flattened. Yeah, I just felt ass. a little bit like a question. Mm. You don't want to be a question? How about no matter as a pickup? No matter how many times. The number of times you get down there. Well, that doesn't matter at all. The thing that will make you the champion. Rising, rising one more time, then you fall. That's why number is good, because when you say it, you rise one more time, you're keeping with the numbers. So, Check this out, Gary. And there came a point in the song when I had an idea, and I felt like I, I felt like I wasn't being heard, and I felt invisible. Is it different enough to say the number of times that they throw you? And I know later we say, Fair enough. you know, back on the horse that threw you. But is that, is that awful? Gary and Kenny were moving forward and they were making progress. And for me, it's always about the song. And if, if my taking something personally is going to get in the way, instead of making a big hubbub about it and stopping the action of the work, I left. I'm going to go, I'm going to just take this outside to work for a little bit, just to like get fresh air. So uh, let's try singing. See where where it wants to go. What did you play? Do you want to deal with that? What? You want to deal with that? Yeah. Just let her process. I think just uh, let her do what she says yeah. she wants to do. Something of the blank is the the thrill of the blank is the ride. Uh -huh. So is the se if that's the second one, you live for the love of the ride. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's got to be extra silver. I just don't want to. I don't want to write this. Of the ride? You know, we don't say the word ride. Do you have a line for that? The B section. Excuse me. Do. Dude, what is it? Well, just we don't have the word ride. Something about you. Do you live for the love of the ride? When I came back, and, my, and I was listening to the lyrics going, come on, get up, they're watching, what are you going to do now that you're down in the dust? I felt like I was in the song going, they're watching, what are you going to do? You better be a, you know, pull up your big girl pants and be a, be a man, George. <laughs> Even though we're saying, what's it going to be, boy? Cowboy lives for the love of the ride. That's a good last line. Okay, let's do it. Wait, yeah. is that what that last line, lives for the love of the ride, is that mm -hmm. what we're saying? Is the thrill better? I'm just asking. Thrill, yeah. I, I like, like the love of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like before, it could be something about, you know, you got to search for some the courage inside or something. Uh -huh. There's got to be some, you got to have some goals inside, you know. So I had to just man up and get, get to where I was a professional again and not a human being getting my feelings hurt. And that's a challenge because these are strong men that I'm writing with and they want what they want, man, and, and they, they're very aggressive about it. And I am too, but I have my moments where I just lose it. It's just about being human is what it is. And in any field, you're, when you're collaborating with anyone, you want what you want and you think you know best because you're good at what you do. And it's just hard to let go of that or to f know when to fight for it. And that's a challenge we all three face in this band. They don't should, they do. Isn't that what a cowboy does? Yeah. Cowboys live for the love of the ride. Yeah, but we're, I was a little wondering about, since we've got to love the rodeo, we have love as a predominant word. Kenny thinks thrill is too feminine. Thrill, I was wondering if thrill is too feminine, but the thrill of the ride... No, it's not too feminine, I dig I it. I think so too. The cowboy lives for the thrill, and I like the rhyme of the live the thrill. Yeah. Oh, what's it gonna be? Man inside? Like, do you stand for the man inside? 
That's an interesting thought. <laughs> we see very clearly here. There's a there's a there's a cranky front moving in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry. Why are we? Um, why don't you come over here? Why don't you stop smothering? <clears throat> Soaked in tears, the tears of creativity. It's so sad. Look, looks like a fish. Is nothing uh, sacred? No, not in this group. What are we doing? Oh my God. Oh, wow. Look at us here. Look at us. <laughs> look at her. She's all happy now. She's got all three of one camera. Oh, yeah, that would be good. Uh, okay. Are you ready? Three, four.
for more. More what? For whatever. Oh shit. <laughs> or arguing. <laughs> no. The next one is Kenny's time. Kenny's to be gonna cry. Okay. He's gonna be I in the cranky sulky. barrel. I get to be sulky and and shut down and not talk to anybody. Yeah, today it was my be turn. Quite refreshing. <laughs> you like that? You're welcome, Matt. Yeah. Yeah. Bye, everybody. Good night. Thank you.